Honda is a world leader in automotive safety. And that's probably a large part of why you chose a Honda in the first place. But what happens after a collision? Can a body part affect your Honda's safety? When you have a collision, there's plenty to think about. Some may consider cutting corners on a repair or part, but virtually everyone is concerned about the vehicle's safety after a repair. Beyond the structural integrity and performance, a critical question is how everything will function within Honda's sophisticated vehicle operating and safety systems, especially the airbag systems. The airbag system relies on information collected by various sensors to determine the severity of the crash impact. The crash impact transfers energy to the sensors that communicate to the control unit, that analyzes the data, determines system response, and, if airbag deployment is necessary, communicates to the appropriate airbag. A change in an involved part could affect the performance of the part, especially how it integrates and communicates with the safety systems. If you replace a system part, like a sensor or control module, with an alternative part, you'd expect a performance change. But what about a change to an exterior part? Can a body part affect the vehicle's safety systems? Let's look at one of the most commonly affected parts in a front-end collision, the bumper. Bumpers have been around for a long time. Initially, they were designed to protect parts, not people. But vehicles and bumpers have evolved. Structurally, the bumper beam is the very center of the front end, including parts and assemblies designed to minimize weight while protecting parts and people. With direct interaction between the sensors that communicate impact data to the control unit, the Honda bumper structure is also an integral part of Honda's ACE system, designed to absorb and redirect impact energy away from the passenger cabin. Like every Honda part, they're designed and tested specifically for each Honda vehicle. Parts, quality, and performance are driven by design, materials, and manufacturing quality. Aftermarket parts typically start with a disadvantage in design. They have to reverse engineer for specifications, including materials. So, whether from a conscious compromise for cost or from the limitations of best guess reverse engineering, differences are virtually unavoidable. Manufacturing methods and precision, including superior quality control and standards, can create further differences. Alternative parts don't have to meet Honda's standards or be tested with a specific Honda vehicle. So, we tested to see how alternative parts might affect safety system performance. Differences may not be obvious, but they are relatively easy to measure. So first, the lab compared the parts composition and precision. Dynamic tests can not only help us measure the difference in impact results, they help us see the difference. But the differences are easiest to see and understand in a dynamic crash test. Comparing Honda's original bumper parts to a commonly available aftermarket bumper part in this independent test. With all the original airbag system parts, the aftermarket bumper version triggers the airbag seven milliseconds late. And the passenger side? The airbag deployed about four milliseconds later than a vehicle with Honda bumper parts. Let's look at that again. The result is increased strain and potential injury to a passenger's neck, which had this been an NHTSA NCAP test, would have dropped the vehicle's frontal safety crash rating for the passenger seating position from five stars to four. And as an added bonus, an independent test comparing a vehicle repaired with Honda genuine bumper parts to one with the same repairs using aftermarket parts revealed that the use of aftermarket parts could double the cost of repair after a subsequent crash. Of course, different parts may perform differently, and that's exactly the point. So, while there may be some important differences in the part or the cost of repair, the real question is still, can a body part affect vehicle safety system performance? And the answer, a simple yes.